So I thought we'd do a quick tutorial on the difference between clay tubes and clay buildup. So I'm just going to start off with a plane here and I'm going to change from the clay tubes to the clay buildup. You can see in the brush settings over here that the buildup is turned on for a clay buildup. When we change the clay tubes, it's turned off. So that's the main difference between these two. Also preserve edge. So what that actually means is that when we're in the clay buildup, if we make some strokes and we go backwards and forwards over the same stroke, we're just adding depth to that stroke. It's building up on that surface. If, however, we change to the clay tubes and we do the same thing, you'll see that it stays fairly flat and doesn't build up. And as I go across the edge of this, you'll see that it just kind of keeps the same edge. If I was on clay buildup, as I go across, it's not going to work that well because it's trying to build up along the edges. So it's not great for going horizontally across strokes, whereas the clay tubes is more suited to that. So how does this work for sculpting? Well, if I take a stroke here with the clay tubes, I can still build volume by taking my pen off and building up slowly but surely on separate strokes. So that will actually give us a surface like this. And if I were to take a new stroke and run across this, and so, so we see the difference in height between the top of this and the bottom of the plane. If I were to take a new stroke and run across here, when we get to that, it's kind of building up to that and then back down again. So if I draw another stroke and I go back the other way, and I'll do this a couple of times just to show the overall effect of this. Hopefully you can see what's going on. As it gets closer to being the same height, it's basically um, reducing the scale and difference. So if we go back down to the original one, while it's still adding volume, it's trying to reduce the difference between bumps in this as, it go, as we get to sides. So each time we add a new stroke, the bump distance is getting decreased. So it's basically smoothing out the difference between one height variation and another during a stroke. So how do we use this one sculpting? I'm going to change to a character over here uh, who was intentionally built of clay. And this is a surface that's ideal for smoothing out. So if I was to take the clay build-up brush and work on his cheekbones here, you can see all I'm actually doing is adding on extra volume here. It's smoothing it out slightly, but it's adding a lot of volume. It's quite So this is great for building up new forms when you're first defining shapes. But if I was to try and do the same thing with a clay build-up brush, or uh, clay tubes brush rather. You can see that it's uh, what it's actually doing is it's smoothing out that shape, the underlying shape. So I, I can run backwards and forwards over this, knowing that all it's really going to do is unify that shape, or that underlying surface. So we're getting a much smoother look to it. So if we've blocked something out and it's looking quite blocky, um, if we make our brush smaller, we can go over the same area again. It's still going to add volume, but it's not going to be dramatic. But it is doing a much better job at smoothing out than the clay build-up brush will do. And it's also not adding huge amounts of volume. So that's the clay tubes. Those same strokes with clay build-up. I'll be running across here. Trying to come down. It's just adding lumpiness. It's very hard to control. You can't actually get rid of that lumpiness. It's not really designed to do that. Um, so, it, But if you did have this kind of lumpiness and you decided you wanted to even it out, you'd use a clay tubes brush after having defined the main forms and just use this to now even that out a little bit. And every pass you do will make that a that little bit simpler. So. Hope that explains it um, and hope these tips help. And as usual, if you have any comments or suggestions, please do let me know um, and consider subscribing to the channel. All right, bye.